Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in August. You know, it's a nice sunny, low humidity day here in Pennsylvania, zone six. Well, anyhow, I just finished removing my row cover here. I have my broccoli plants growing here that I planted these, I think in August 3rd. I bought these transplants from Ray's. And these plants have just been growing and thriving underneath the row cover. But you know, I have another section in my garden that's a four foot by eight foot section in my raised bed that I planted six of these same broccoli plants at the same time. And it, they really have been struggling out there in the garden, uh, not covered by the row covers. And so I just thought I would do a short video here showing you the size comparison and the overall health of the plants. Uh, with these being protected by the row covers and some of those that aren't. And so thanks for joining me today. And so I just finished weeding these gardens, and I still need to go through and stake maybe up some of these broccoli plants. And uh, so let's take a closer look and at the overall health and size of these plants compared to the, the broccoli plants in my other section. And so these are my broccoli plants. This is actually a gypsy variety plant. It's a, it, uh, it has a shorter growing season, which is a good variety to grow considering you're heading into the fall. And so you can see that these leaves, there's no holes in them. And they're also very healthy and, and also a nice large size plant. And like I said, I do need to go through here and stake these broccoli plants up, at least most of them. But they really have been growing and thriving under these row covers for the last three weeks. And so let's take a walk and head up this way to my other section where I have these other plants that aren't protected by the row covers. Here's my little fountain project that I did earlier in the spring. It's really been nice having this around the garden. And so these six other broccoli plants are right up here on the right here. And I grew these in my composted leaf mulch that's amended with topsoil. But you can just see the difference in size of these plants. And you can see some of the leaves have holes in them already. But it's just no comparison in size compared to those underneath the row cover. And you can see this one here that's already being eaten by that cabbage looper worm. And again, these are the ones growing under the row cover planted at the same time in the beginning of August. And you can just see the size comparison and the overall health of the plant, how much better it is growing these underneath the row cover. And the row covers are a spun, spun bonded polyester. They're kind of similar to a fleece or agribond, they also call it. Different manufacturers names out there in the market. And so let me encourage you to think about growing your brassica plants underneath the row covers. Um, Unless you're already doing that already, you, you certainly know the, the benefits of growing your plants under there. You know, it makes your gardening season a lot more enjoyable, not having to worry about what type of pesticide to use on our plants, you know, because I always like to encourage people, you know, organic gardening, you know, in these row covers, you know, I, I, I don't use any type of chemicals in my 
in my garden and you know these plants are, are nice and healthy and so you know it's harder for them to get disease when they're nice nice and healthy and strong growing under these row covers you know the bugs just can't attack them and so you know that's one of my secret weapons to having a pest free garden so anyhow i hope you had a uh, this was able to give you some tips and ideas on, on on growing your broccoli under row covers and i just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden so hope you have a wonderful day gardening until next time this is plant smart living with farmer fred